Hey guys, Mogs here. So this is episode 8 of Ask Mogs Anything, the series where I answer questions from you guys about myself and about Sideswipe. All of the questions in this episode come from my Discord server, so if you want to submit your own questions for next episode, come join the Mogs Discord server and put your questions in the Ask Mogs channel. As usual, while I answer the questions, I'll put some pre-recorded Sideswipe gameplay in the background. Alright, let's get on to the first question and the first match. Alright, so the first question comes from Qtaro Kujo, uh, and they ask, what is your favorite car and why? So I'm assuming you're talking about my favorite car in Sideswipe, um, as opposed to my favorite car in Rocket League or my favorite car in real life. So if you're asking me about my favorite car in real life, uh, I don't have one because I don't, I don't, I'm not into cars. Uh, but if you're asking about Sideswipe, then my favorite car is the Fennec. That's the one that I use ever since it came out. And before that, I used the Octane. Um, the reason I used the Octane was because of the hitbox. Hitbox was really good, and it's just kind of the you know original car. So I didn't see any reason to use anything else. Um, However, the reason I like the Fennec is that it's the car that I use in Rocket League. And um, I just love it. I mean, when I first used it in Rocket League, say four years ago or something, I just immediately fell in love with it. Uh, I was previously a Dominus main, I think. I think that's... The, I kind of switched between a bunch of cars. I, I've Originally, I was a Merc main when I started playing Rocket League in 2015. And um, that was before I kind of got serious about the game at all. Uh, and then I switched to Dominus. I was a Dominus main for years. And then eventually, yeah, I started using, other, I think, some Octane hitbox cars. I used the Octane for a little bit. And then when I first played with the Fennec, I was like, wow, this is incredible. I just... I don't know why, but I just loved it. Um, and then, you know, obviously when I started playing Sideswipe, I was just waiting for the Fennec to come out the whole time. Uh, and then as soon as it did, yeah, I started using it. Um, the, the hitbox is really good on it. In Rocket League, the hitbox is better, I would say, than in Sideswipe. The front of the hitbox is closer to the front of the car in Rocket League. Uh, whereas in Sideswipe, it's a little bit inside. So the, the front of the car sticks out a bit. Uh, but it's still pretty good. I mean, it's one of the best hitboxes in Sideswipe, so... Um, I think it's a really good car to use. The back and the front are both decent, and yeah, so... I just love the the design of it, though, really. I, I like the fact that it's kind of box-shaped, um, and it's just simple. Yeah, it's a, it's a really simple, simply designed car, and it, it looks kind of like a real car, so... Yeah, um, that's, that's my favorite car, definitely, by far. All right, next question comes from A Dish, R Dish, A A Dish, I don't know. Uh, and they ask, which kickoff is the best? So this is a question I've answered a bunch of times in different AMA episodes. Um, overall, I would say just the, like as a kind of like a philosophical answer, um, the best kickoff, I think, is the kickoff that doesn't get you scored on so i think i've said this a few times um and so i tend like rather than focusing on trying to score from a kickoff or trying to get an advantage from the kickoff i just focus on a safe kickoff so i want to make sure that i don't get scored on and i don't i guess give possession away to my opponent and for that i think a really really safe reliable easy to do kickoff that's just good for everyone no matter what you rank is the ram kickoff uh, and that is where you drive straight at the ball and then right at the end you just jump and just hit the ball with the nose of your car it's super easy to do really simple and if you vary it up a little bit if you mix it up a little bit and do like a delayed ram where you start boosting a bit later uh, and then you do a, I don't know what to call it, but a really fast ram, you know, where you get where you reach the ball as soon as you possibly can, then it's, that's really good to create some, like, variation so your opponent doesn't know what you're going to do. So I highly recommend it. I love the ram kickoff, it, and it can still get you goals as well, especially in lower ranks, and even in plat and diamond, you can sometimes get goals from it. So, yeah, highly recommend that. Um... That's probably my recommended one. Yeah, I, honestly, I think it's the best kickoff, really. It's, it's safe. You can score off it. You pretty much never lose the ball when you do it. It's just it's just amazing. So, yeah. That, I would say that's probably the best kickoff. If, you, if, I wanted, if I had to choose one, I'd probably choose that. 
But yeah, good question. Okay, the next question comes from Sharky Boy, and they ask how to get a shiny pay job like yours. Yeah, this is a question I've gotten so many times since I started my channel, and um, I mean, it's really simple. Uh, there's just three things that I do to get the shiny paint job. The first is to set my graphic settings to high, and then I set my metalness and my glossiness both to 100%. So, I mean, that's it really, super simple. Um, I think the main issue that people have with the not being able to get a shiny paint job is just is the graphic settings. If you put them on medium, and particularly if you put them on low, it doesn't look anywhere near as shiny. In fact, low doesn't look shiny at all. So it I guess when you put your graphics on low, it totally removes this part of the graphic setting, the shininess or the ref reflectivity. Uh, it just totally removes that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so that's how you get a shiny paint job like mine. You need high graphic settings and you need 100% glossiness and 100% metalness. And that's it. Uh, but yeah, I've got that question so many times. All right, next one comes from Kanish K. Kanishk. Kanishk. And um, they ask, Hey Mugs, is it true that on touchscreen, cars like a Merc and Nemesis feel heavy and uncomfortable compared to other cars? Yeah. So this is something I've heard quite a few times, that cars feel heavy. And it's something that people in Rocket League say as well. So it's not just Sideswipe. And I mean, I don't really understand that at all. I, I've never experienced that myself. And... Yeah, I, I don't really get how, like, what makes it feel heavy um, and uncomfortable. I don't know what makes a car feel heavy and uncomfortable, so... But no, I mean, the answer is no. There's no difference between any of the cars. The only difference is the hitbox, and in Sideswipe, that really doesn't matter much at all. It's just really tiny differences you're talking about. Um, so, no, the cars don't... It's not true. They don't feel heavy. No. <laughs> but but I don't know. I can't really say it, it's it's totally false because if you think it feels heavy, then who am I to say that's wrong? If you feel that's how you feel, then okay. But I don't think there's any like objective reason for that. It's probably just in your head. So I but I don't. Yeah, the the Merc and the Nemesis. I mean, the Nemesis is like a sports car. Um, the Merc I can understand feeling heavy, but the Nemesis. Yeah, I don't, no, I don't get it. Uh, but yeah, it's a, that's a weird one. There's a bit of a mystery. A lot of people have this kind of experience. So, anyway. All right, next question comes from Bad Angle, and they ask, how, uh, what are your thoughts about playing on the left or the right side in a brain matter, you know? Um, so yeah, I this is a good question. Um, I, I think mm, in terms of like psychologically, I, I don't think it matters, like, left or right doesn't matter it's up to you um uh, but in terms of practicality so i think if you're a touch player you should be playing uh from right to left uh, and that's because if you if you play left to right your own car can often i think it's your own car or maybe your opponent's car can get blocked by your fingers on the screen uh like by your joystick and you know your two fingers or whatever so I think um, if you're a touch player, then you should be playing defend right. Yeah. Uh, if you play defend left, you often find that your fingers get in the way more. <clears throat> That's what I've noticed. Uh, so when I play touch, which I almost never do, but when I do, I switch it to defend right. And then when I play on controller, I play defend left. So for me, I prefer defend left because it just makes more sense for me that I go from left to right. You know, when I read a book, I go from left to right. When I, do, when I you know, write things or whatever, usually things are kind of left to right. Uh, so just for me, it makes more sense. Um, so that's why I do it. That's why I play defend left. Uh, but yeah, it really doesn't matter. It's just kind of up to you and, and depends. And it, also if you're on touch, it depends where you have your, your fingers. Maybe, it, you know, I don't know. You might have your own weird, unique setup and then it doesn't matter which way you, know, you defend. So, But yeah, that's an interesting one. Um, next one is another one from Sharky Boy, and they ask, uh, will licensed cars ever come to Sideswipe? And 
are all new cards just adopted from regular Rocket League or do they make cards for Sideswipe? Yeah. So the first question, licensed cards, I have absolutely no idea. I don't have any information that you guys don't have. Um, we haven't got any licensed cards yet in Sideswipe. And because the game is not monetized, um, you know, there's no paid item shop. There's no like, uh, you, you know, there's, you can't, there's no microtransactions or anything. You can't buy currency or buy items. Then I don't think uh, the companies like, you know, BMW or, uh, you know, Batman, whatever company that is, uh, Universal or whatever. Um, I don't think they would give the give right to Psyonix or to Epic to use their items, their cars, their brands in an unpaid game. You know, I, I just feel like it, it would, they would have to get some monetary uh, gain from it. You know, so in Rocket League, licensed cars make sense because we pay real money. And then I guess a portion of that money goes to the, the licensor, you know, goes to the company. But with Sideswipe, there's no... There's no exchanging of, of money there. So I, I don't think we'll ever get, until we get monetization in Sideswipe, I don't think we'll get uh, licensed cars. But that's just my guess, you know, I don't know. There could be stuff happening behind the scenes where, you know, Epic or Psyonix are paying for the ride and then they can use it in Sideswipe. But yeah, I kind of doubt it. Um, and the next question, um, yeah, all cars. Yeah, so every single car in Sideswipe has, to date anyway, come from Rocket League. There are no cars in Sideswipe that aren't already in Rocket League. Um, even the Nemesis, so the Nemesis is kind of the, un the most unique one, I guess, where that was really restricted to only Twitch Prime members, I think. You had to be, a, I don't know how many months it was. It was like um, one month or something. You had to have a Twitch Prime subscription, I think. Uh, and then you could get the Nemesis in Rocket League. You just they just gave it to you but in sideswipe yeah everyone gets it so it's in the mystery crate or whatever so um that's the only kind that's not really an exception but, but like that's the only car in sideswipe that i don't have in rocket league because i've never been on twitch prime so i don't have the nemesis in in rocket league but i do have it in sideswipe so uh but yeah it'd be cool to see some unique cars in in sideswipe i'd love that uh but to date yeah now they all they all have come from Rocket League so far. Uh, but yeah, good question. Okay, next question comes from Hogs or Hydrogen, not moderator. Yep, what's up, Hogs, bro? Um, okay, so his question is, will a premium pass come in Rocket League Sideswipe? Some money should also be used, not pay to win, but yeah, cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is the same thing, really. Will will we get any monetization in Sideswipe? No, I have no idea. Um, I don't know why they haven't done it already. Uh, but I, you know, I think that ship has kind of sailed. I, I can't imagine they're going to introduce monetization in the future because the game's, you know, dying. It might be a way to bring bring the game back, you know, make it popular again. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I really don't know. I I hope they do because it would it would probably bring some people back to the game. But yeah, I doubt it. Um, I think that's really unfortunate. Good question though. All right, next one comes from N R Echo N R E N R Echo Reco. I don't know how to say that. Um, and they ask, "Hey Mogs, for a complete noob in Rocket League Sideswipe, what way of training would you recommend? Which field? Which aspects of play? What beginner mechanics?" Yeah, I mean, so I I, I could make a whole video about this, uh, and I probably should do like a beginner's tutorial kind of thing. But. Um, uh, for just a quick answer, I mean, I so SC field or just the bigger fields, what I can't remember the other one's called. I would recommend practicing on that because that's the that's the arena you're going to be playing in most of the time. Um, aspects of play, I mean, air dribbling, I think is by far like the most important skill in side type. So I would I would highly recommend just practicing taking the ball from the ground and popping it up and and getting control of it really quickly um that, that's probably the most important thing because that's something a lot of lower ranked players struggle with they they use a lot of boost so also i, I would turn on 
uh, limited boost. So turn off unlimited boost, you know, untick that box so that you're practicing your boost management uh, and try to try to start an air dribble from the ground and use as little boost as possible. Uh, that should be, so you want to get control of the ball really quickly and use not much boost. So that's a really important thing to practice. Um, stalls, I think, are incredibly important as a, as a mechanic to practice because they're things that, that's something that will just allow you more freedom in terms of your plays and more variety in your in your attacking plays and also your recoveries and stuff like you know when you're going for a save you can use stalls to to take the ball up into an area that you wouldn't otherwise be able to you know rather than uh, just relying on your boost to get you there so stalls are unbelievably important once you get into like platinum so i highly recommend practicing them um, so yeah, so I would say SC field is the field, uh, aspects of play, air dribbles, um, and uh, mechanics, stalls. They're probably my, my three answers to that one. Okay, so <clears throat> next question comes from UteNet. And they ask, how can I use mechanics that I learned in actual matches? Every time I've tried, it always fails horribly, yeah. This is tough, I mean, it it's really hard to you know th it's hard doing things that you can do in training uh in live matches like it's totally different you know you, you could be a total pro in in training and um absolutely cracked and you know you can just stall chain whenever you whenever you choose to but as soon as you go into a match you can't do a single stall or well, you can do like one is like your max and then you mess up the next one and that happens to me all the time if you ever watch my second channel you'll see that i constantly mess up my stalls uh but if i go into free play totally fine i can do i can do just constantly stall all day um so I guess that's a matter of just staying calm and, you know, not getting too excited uh, and rushing your button presses. I think that's a big thing, really. Just staying really calm. And some people can do it and some people are not so good at it. And I'm personally not great at it. I think I, <clears throat> I kind of choke under pressure. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess it's just practice until it becomes... Um, second nature you know until you can do it instinctively that's probably the key if you're not a naturally calm person under pressure then you probably just have to practice more to get to the point where you don't even have to think about it it just happens you know instinctively um, so I guess my advice is yeah stay calm and practice more <laughs> that's probably my two pieces of advice but that's difficult to implement so um, yeah, and I guess don't overcomplicate things. Like, don't go for mechanics that you're not 100% comfortable with. Only, only go for the ones that you you know you can pull off, or that you've you've spent a decent amount of time practicing. Um, you know, and honestly, me mechanics are kind of overrated a lot in Sideswipe. I think stalls are a good one to to practice and to use in matches. But other than that, like, you know, you, you can get by. You get into diamond and champ with just stalls gold shots purple shots you know and then just good positioning and and good good kind of intelligent play mechanics i i think are, are very much overrated uh and that's because they're so fun you know they're it's, it's like the most entertaining part of the game uh whereas game sense and intelligent rotation and stuff is not exciting uh so i think people focus on mechanics kind of too much a little bit um, and I'm probably partially to blame for that because I make so many mechanics videos, but that's just because they're fun to make and they're like, it's like an easy topic. Whereas like game sense, is, like, it's, it's quite difficult to make that entertaining in a video. Uh, so I tend to avoid it if I can. But anyway, good question. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, next one comes from Noshino Hono. Noshino Hono. Uh, and, um, and they ask, uh, I'm assuming he asks, uh, I know I'm asking a lot of questions. Yep, you asked like five. Uh, but how do I deal with my teammates that are so bad in doubles? They brought be they brought me all the way to gold two. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you brought yourself to gold two, bruv. I like th this question of of how to deal with bad teammates. Um, you know, 
and then blaming them for your for the rank that you ended up as. <laughs> One of the things that qualifies you as a plat or as a gold or whatever is in doubles is your ability to be a team player. And being a team player means part of that is dealing with a what you would call quote unquote bad teammates. You know, maybe ball chasing teammates or uh, teammates with really unclear movement and positioning and stuff. You know. So I guess I'll answer the question, how do you deal with a ball chasing teammate? Yeah. Okay. So if you like, for example, if you're on the ball uh, and you're going for an air dribble and then your teammate just comes in, charges behind you and tries to take the ball off you. So <clears throat> I would, in that situation, I would highly recommend prioritizing not double committing, right? And the way you do that is to forget about the idea of this is my ball, this is my play. Hey, teammate, get out of the way. What are you doing ball chasing? Forget about that and instead think, okay, I'm on the ball. Now my teammate is coming. He wants the ball. I'm just going to give him the ball. Okay, so that might sound like an L for you and you're like, but it's mine i should i should keep the ball you know that's wrong and 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 then and your teammates kind of dominating you by taking the ball off you but you don't have any other options like you you have to just cater to your teammate he's the aggressive one so just from then on think of him as the aggressive one and you're the passive one and then if he's then when you're going up for an air dribble expect him to come for it and then when he does just give the ball to him and flip back down and recover and go and defend. So just, I guess, you know, if they're ball chasing, let them ball chase and you take a more reactive role and a more passive, I guess, defensive role. Uh, and if they want to ball chase, just let them ball chase and you, know, you just be the, the smart one. You know, you you just be the the one that, um, that isn't, uh, you know, stubborn and, and, and like, proceeding with your play no matter what even if your teammate comes or you're proceeding anyway like you're not going to win that's like that then you'll just double commit and yeah it's your teammate's fault sure but you suffer the consequences so if they ball chase and they come for the ball just 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 get out of there <laughs> good question though it's, it's a tough one i mean there's a lot of bad teammates in uh in the lower ranks all right the next few questions <clears throat> i'm losing my voice so the next few questions are ju i've just got three questions about me so if you don't care about me, you don't care about like, you know uh, my background or whatever, then you can stop watching now. Uh, okay, next question comes from Phoenix8280. Uh, and they ask, Yo, Mogs, I hope you have a great day. Can you say the same thing back to me? Yeah, hope you have a great day, bro. Um, also, are you British or Australian? I am Australian. I'm from Sydney and I uh, live in Japan. I've been living in Japan for about 12 years. Um, and uh, yeah, my accent though is not really clearly Australian. Like I speak in a mixture of Australian and, and kind of American uh, pronunciation. <clears throat> uh, be, and that's because I'm an English teacher. That's one, one of my jobs in Japan is to be an English teacher. And therefore I'm, I have to speak in a really clear way that my students can understand. And that means adopting some a kind of American pronunciation. So instead of saying water, like in Australia, we say water, like can I have a glass of water? Um, so it's like water, you know, it doesn't, which is not a word really. Like if you, how do you spell that water? W-O-R-D-A. <laughs> like that's, it's ridiculous. So if I say that to my, my friend, my Japanese friends or my students, they're like, what? Water, what's that? You know, so I say water water you know, i often actually if i show if, talk, if i'm talking to my students i'll say water you know so it's like american sounds american um and uh, and that kind of stuff so i i have a kind of neutral way of speaking um, so it's quite difficult to tell my accent i think uh next question comes from dan's and they ask what's your peak rank in size five uh my peak rank was like all the way back in season two maybe and that was diamond Four, I think was the highest uh, but to be honest like I think that season I probably could have gotten champ one maybe 
champ two maybe um but i i would that was like the peak of my channel as well so i was so ridiculously busy making videos that i just didn't have time to grind sideswipe <laughs> so that, i mean that sounds like an excuse but that's a reality like every single season my max rank has oh, sorry my max level has been like 52 or 3 like i, I pretty much never get past that because i just don't have time um i don't have time to grind it unfortunately and so yeah my uh my peak rank's not that high really and then this season i'm like i'm like plat five like i and i'm, I'm probably gonna try to get diamond by the end but i just honestly like i just don't have time to play it i'm not not really um that interested in playing side side anymore <laughs> um so i play for content but i don't really play on my own uh, but yeah that's my peak rank it's like diamond diamond four i think it was diamond four uh, and the next one, uh, last one, comes from Wolfs, and who's one of my moderators, head moderator actually, on my Discord. And um, he asks, are you planning to keep making more content related to Sideswipe or related to Rocket League and other games? I mean, I'll still make Sideswipe videos. I don't think I'll ever really stop, like for the foreseeable future anyway, I'm not gonna stop making Sideswipe videos. Um, you know like this is kind of a side side video and also i'll do hitbox videos every season and i'll do you know new content new game modes and stuff when they come out um but in terms of like my general like tutorials which used to be like the bread and butter of my channel i i probably won't do as many as i used to at all and i and i do want to move away to other games like I'm, I'm looking for another game basically at the moment. I'm looking for another game to really get into. Uh, and hopefully it'll be the game, again, it'll be a game that you guys are interested in as well. You know, maybe a mobile game, I don't know. Um, I'm looking at the, the next like Supercell games uh, that I can maybe cover on my channel, which I guess a lot of you guys will be interested in. Um, like Clash of Clans, I think, you know, the, those games, the spin-off games, the, the new ones. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm looking at those. And when they come out, yeah, I'll probably cover them if, if I'm interested in them. Uh, but yeah, I'll always do Sideswipe. I, I'm sure I'll always do Rocket League as well. You know, every season they have new cars and stuff. I'll do, I'll do the new cars and uh, anything that's interesting. But I do want to diversify and I want to move on to other games as well. So if you have any suggestions for games you want me to cover, like new ones that are coming out soon, maybe coming into beta soon, let me know because I'm, I'm always looking for them. Uh, but yeah, all right, I gotta go. My voice is dying. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for all your questions. If you guys want to submit your your own questions, come join the Discord and put them in the Ask Mogs channel. Uh, and then I'll choose my favorite ones and I'll answer them in the next episode. But yeah, as always, guys, um, come join the Mogs Discord server if you want to hang out with me and other Mogs viewers. And check out my second channel if you want to see me play games live with like live commentary. Uh, I play Sideswipe, I play Rocket League, and I play other random games whenever they come up. But yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.